Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice just went then. I hope you're well Aries. I'm doing these a little bit earlier. Obviously we've got Easter coming up, so I thought it would be good to do a couple of days early. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Overarching message for Aries overarching message for our lovely Aries thank you okay seeing the truth revealing the truth we have somebody taking off a mask there seeing beneath the surface hmm okay angels what is the message for Aries for the week 5th to the 11th of April 2021 okay oh <laughs> big happy changes isn't that lovely Big happy changes. Okay, Aries, I'm going to pull three cards. Then we'll clarify and go deeper into the message. You know by now what we do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Aries, please, angels. Spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. 5th to the 11th of April, 2021. What does Aries need to hear the most for the week? Thank you. The moon in the challenge position. Judgment. Oh my goodness, three major arcana. <laughs> the magician. Okay. What do we have for Aries, please? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Aries? 5th to the 11th of April 2021. So we have the Eight of Swords. Judgment with the Five of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles with the Magician. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, Aries, so there's definitely an energy of big happy changes here. Moon energy with the Eight of Swords. There's an energy of release here. Something is going to happen. It feels in this situation something's going to happen here which will allow you to release from negative thoughts. Think a situation that makes you feel negative or a person. There's an energy here of needing to open to new perspectives. Um, the moon generally is a lack of clarity and definitely this eight of swords is, it can be an energy of negative thinking, negative thoughts, self-limiting beliefs. So how we imprison ourselves, stop ourselves from moving forward by overthinking a situation. And there's almost kind of like an energy here of you're releasing from a, a situation of, of that has been clouded where you couldn't see the way forward. I don't know how something's going to pan out. And I don't know if something is going to change, you know, this feeling of, of restriction. I, I don't know how I'm going to break free of this, but it can be an energy of the mind keeping us prisoner in our own head, how we overthink a situation, be too much in our own head. Um, What is it to do with? Well, the Five of Cups can be to do with loss, regret, 
something making you feel down. Looking back at a situation, knowing that you can't change the past. And it feels in this situation There's an energy here, Aries, of there's an opportunity to release from being stuck too much in your own head, not being able to see the way forward. And finally get clarity on a situation that you need clarity on. And that's this truth. To see how something has kept you stuck looking at the past. Because the, the judgment card can be a card of a wake-up call. Um, it's time to let go, release, move forward. Now that can be a choice or a decision. But it is a card of, of a call to action. Now is the time to take action on a situation that has kept you stuck. Uh, something might happen with regard to this. I mean, sometimes there's an energy here of something might be releasing you from a situation. The reason why you need to move from the past to the present is because there may be some news or information or reason to take action and make a judgment call. Let's clarify judgment. What is judgment, please, for Aries? Okay, yeah, so we have the hanged man and the ten of cups. Which is also a card of new perspectives. Ten of cups is generally the happy ever after card. It feels in this situation I mean you might be waiting to see how something plays out here in terms of love romance relationships Harry's I mean there's regret here but there's an energy here with the hanged man of feeling in limbo Having regrets, feeling in limbo, that could be another person in your life, that could be you. But feel, feeling in limbo, not really being able to see the way forward because you're waiting. You're waiting for someone to come back to you or you're waiting for something to happen. What's this Five of Cups? Feels like a deep reading for somebody here. What is this Five of Cups? It just feels like you're stuck. I don't know how I'm going to, I don't, I don't know how to move forward because I don't have the clarity. Yeah, so it's this Queen of Pentacles. So it's almost kind of like you're waiting. There's an energy here, Aries, that for whatever reason... It feels like a relationship has been on hold. Something has happened and it's brought clarity. Um, I mean, for example, you might be separated or you might be uh, wondering whether to give a relationship another go. It feels like there's two paths available to you. One path is to give a relationship another go. It can be an energy of second chances um, that we're seeing here. It feels that you're just waiting to see or somebody's waiting on you. It can be vice versa energy. It's generally vice versa when it's somebody who is immediately involved with you. Um, so there's definitely an energy of there's a relationship here and you just don't have clarity. Now, either you're not making up your mind or you're waiting for somebody to make up their mind. Um, and it feels to do with some kind of decision to do with a relationship. And the Ten of Cups is a long-term relationship, marriage, long-term committed relationship, happy ever after. We have the happy family, the happy children, the beautiful setting, the abundance. And it's almost kind of like you're you're waiting for somebody to come back to you because something's happened that either you regret or somebody else regrets. Um, and you're trying to, there's somebody is, is thinking, how do I want to move forward? The relationship is on hold. But 
It feels in this situation there will be some decision. The spirit is saying there's the wake up call, making some kind of decision or choice. You have an opportunity to give somebody a second chance or them you. Um, and it, it feels in this situation the decision will be made. The Queen of Pentacles, Gemini Capricorn for me as a reader, can be Earth Energy, Virgo Capricorn Taurus, uh, male or female in a general reading. But either somebody, it feels like somebody regrets their actions, but there's a feeling of all is not lost here and there's an opportunity for a second chance. It's just there's that period of limbo in terms of waiting for something to happen and then something is going to happen and that's what Spirit is saying. The choice, the decision will be made in terms of how you move forward. So it feels quite imminent in terms of getting clarity on the situation at least. And I like it with this energy because it's an energy of all is not lost. So it feels certainly with the magician energy, there has been conflict, there has been struggle, there has been not being on the same page as each other. This can be heated arguments, conflict, petty, petty arguments just going round and round and round. If there's been some disagreement that has just escalated Aries and this has kind of like put a wedge between the two of you, there's an opportunity to resolve it now because that magician energy is manifestation, changing something negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. So this is about manifesting and it feels very hopeful manifesting something again with this queen of pentacles uh, again male or female energy like the queen of pentacles is all about abundance she's focused she takes her time um there's also a nurturing and healing energy with the queen of pentacles so again for some of you there's been healing all is not lost it feels like something is worth worth nurturing bringing back to life here and the opportunity to turn something around Yeah. Now, it might well be for some of you, you know, part of this disagreement could have been the truth of the situation. It might well be also that you need to speak your truth or they need to speak their truth to you. But the beautiful energy is that I've got Aries is that you are going to turn something around because certainly in this reading, all is not lost. There will be big, happy changes. And something that you thought, I mean, it feels like there's been regret on someone's part someone has regretted something bitterly and they want to put it right they want to heal it and they want to bring new growth back into what i feel is a very significant relationship in your life so the challenge is that you don't have clarity now but i feel for some of you soon you will something is going to happen and there's a feeling of a second chance here um, giving something a second chance because there's too much value in the relationship to cast it away and that's definitely what the magician is saying if you focus on how to bring growth and stability and security and all of this kind of thing into the relationship focus on the positive as well there's definitely an energy of getting back on track okay so that is your reading Aries let's pull you a final card thank you Shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within. And it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. <laughs> and again, this feeling of revelation. I'm definitely getting that there's, there might be things that you might not have said to each other. I mean, you might, you might not have spoken for a period of time or, you know, maybe communication wasn't as open as you wanted it to be. I'm definitely getting this energy in terms of speaking your truth taking the mask off um, and opening up is definitely how you get back on track here. But don't let something, I mean, put a difficult situation, it feels that there was a topic or an issue that you just went round and round the houses on and it's, it's put a wedge between you. So I would advise putting that behind you. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.